I hope you're not too tired after your exertions. Oh, my lady, I'm not tired, exactly. Oh, good. I'm glad if the wedding was a success. Oh, well, the wedding was a success, yes? Spratt, I have told you before, I do not appreciate a man of misery. If you have something to say, say it. I would, your ladyship, but it may not be quite right for me to tell. Well, if that is the case, then do not say it. Do you have some other business? Only that it may not be mine to tell, but it is in a way yours. You're testing me, Spratt, and I warn you, being tested does not bring out the best in me. No, Your Ladyship. I will not repeat myself. Either impart this piece of information, if you can empower yourself to do so, or go. Very well. I hope Lady Mary enjoyed her time in Liverpool. What? I was standing outside the Grand Hotel this morning, my lady, when I saw her come out with her suitcases. She was accompanied by Lord Gillingham, who had clearly also been staying in the hotel. Well, yes. They were both staying there. They were attending an informal conference of northern landowners. Lord Gillingham thought Lady Mary might derive some benefit from it. So you knew about it? <laughs> of course I did. Why, well, what did you imagine you were witnessing? Well... Oh, nothing vulgar, I hope. Nothing beneath the dignity of a butler of this house. Oh, nothing of that sort. Lady. I am glad to hear it. Now, if you would be good enough to let me drink my brandy in peace. Your leadership. Thank you, Spratt. I trust you enjoyed your stay in Liverpool, my lady. You found it extremely interesting, didn't you, dear? Yes, I did. Yes, I think we'll have some tea. Thank you, Spratt. Very good, Your Ladyship. Obviously, it's very shocking to someone of your generation. Don't let us hide behind the changing times, my dear. This is shocking to most people in 1924. Yes. Can we be confident that there will be no unwanted epilogue? You can be quite sure. Well, I must say, that makes a, a nice... A nice what? A nice kettle of fish. Is there any chance of a proposal? Every chance. He already has. He wants to set the date. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not saying I approve, because I don't. But it does put things in rather a different light. Yes. When will you announce it? I'm not sure. We haven't decided. Then you'd better get on with it. If I was seduced by a man, I would not let any grass grow under his feet if he'd offered to do the decent thing. I wasn't seduced, Granny. A young woman of good family who finds herself in the bed of a man who is not her husband has invariably been seduced. She couldn't have gone to bed with him of her own free will? Not if she was the daughter of an earl. Oh, there you are, Spratt. Lady Mary's been telling me all about her conference. I hope you found it interesting, my lady. I learned a great deal that I never knew before. Thank you, Spratt. <laughs> 